Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal. The next chapter of World of Warcraft is right around the corner. This week, we got an announcement by Blizzard, where it was revealed that the next future expansion announcement is set to premiere on the April 19th. This update, however, was a little brief, mostly just giving us the date of the future expansion announcement and was light on the details that we all want to know like the different features and themes of the next update. However, it doesn't mean the Blizzard hasn't been busy in the background. Regular updates on the private encrypted internal builds suggest that work is being done, which could mean the possibility that the next expansion alpha could be a work in progress. So let's take a look at everything we know so far about the future upcoming expansion, as well as some of the features that I personally would love to see from the next chapter of World of Warcraft. But right before that, most of you guys watching these videos are still not subscribed. However, the more of you are reminded, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel as well as hit the bell if you're watching these videos anyway. Especially if you want to get more 9.2 content, guides, and updates, as well as regular coverage of the next expansion announcement. While we are unlikely to see the next WoW expansion alpha or beta hitting the public test realms anytime soon, it doesn't mean the Blizzard hasn't been busy internally. A new internal build of the next WoW product has been identified and it's titled WoW Dev 3. However, there's a lot of speculation on what this new WoW Dev build could be. The only thing we know for certain is that this is a private encrypted build having to do something with World of Warcraft. Initially, a lot of players speculated that the dev build is likely in regards to Wrath of the Lich King Classic, which should hopefully be announced shortly after the last few TBC Classic content phases are released. Some players have guessed that the dev build has something to do with the patch 925 making its way over on the PTR, though 925 seems to have a different build on the PTR entirely, with the recent updates to this dev build further suggesting that this is unlikely to be Wrath of the Lich King Classic, it could potentially be the next alpha for the 10.0 expansion. The recent updates of this build also suggest that there is a possibility that this build contains a massive cinematic, which we are likely to see during the April 19th expansion announcement event. Either way, we know for sure that there's regular updates happening with this new WoW dev build. It is, however, very difficult to tell just how big these builds are, or exactly how much work is being done. We know there's a lot of updates, but they could be major or minor. It could be a lot of small, non-consequential background updates that don't necessarily mean a lot of work is being done on the next expansion. However, it's also just as likely. This could be massive updates with Blizzard structuring brand new continents for us to explore. Brand new instances and dungeons with a lot of high quality textures and assets being added for the next new content. Only time will tell exactly how much work is being done on the next World of Warcraft update. But what could be the theme for the next WoW expansion? For now, we have no clear official direction, but we have a lot of quote-unquote leaks to borrow ideas from. If any of the popular leaks are to be believed, then it is likely that the next expansion of World of Warcraft will have something to do with the Dragon Isles. One of these leaks suggests that the fight between the Jailer and Azeroth in the Sepulchre of the First Ones eventually awakens the world soul of Azeroth, which opens up the mysterious Dragon Isles Island for a dragon in inspired expansion. Another quote-unquote leak suggests a potential Void versus Light expansion, which would fit to the themes of us, the champions of Azeroth, fighting all of these cosmic threats. The demons from the expansion of Legion, Nazoth himself from Battle for Azeroth, and the death itself from the expansion of Shadowlands. We could potentially see the return of Yorel with her Lightforged Zealots from the alternative Draenor. We can also see the return of Zalatath after we last saw her in BFA. 
the void and the light could clash together offering the champions of azeroth the choice to join the void or the light similar to how we get to pick our covenants in shadowlands and i want to hear you guys in the comments which of these two expansion ideas the light versus void expansion or the dragon isles expansion do you think is more likely to be more believable while we don't know the themes of the next expansion we know it's likely to be full of new features for the patch 9.2.5 we're getting a major world of warcraft feature being enabled for the first time ever the cross faction gameplay functionality where players of either faction the horde of the alliance will be able to group up together for arenas battlegrounds dungeons and raids this cross-faction capability is likely to be one of the biggest selling points of the next expansion added in a little bit early. It wouldn't be the first time Blizzard has done so. One of the features of Battle for Azeroth was allied races, and four of the eight allied races were added early towards the end of Legion. The Lightforged Renai, the Nightborn, the Voidos, and the High Mountain Tauren. Also, the Azerite themed Battle for Azeroth Battleground of Seething Shore was also added towards the end of Legion a little bit early, even though it was technically part of the Battle for Azeroth features. It is very likely that Blizzard will add more future expansion features to the next update of patch 925, or potentially hints internally in some of the files of the next BTR update, things like various game assets, textures, or items that could hint at the themes of the next expansion. This could also be the first expansion in a long while that could add either a new race or a new class to the game. The expansion of Shadowlands was light on both of these features, instead opting to deprune some of our class playstyles. While Battle for Azeroth didn't add a brand new class, it did add a lot of allied races. And while allied races do come with their own active and passive ratios, which can have gameplay changes, as well as various customizations that could be applied for those characters, it still misses that uniqueness of Blizzard adding in a new playable race. While the Lightforged Draenei look amazing, they are essentially yellow Draenei, so they don't necessarily look all that unique. When Blizzard released the Pandaren, the Worgen and the Goblin, as well as the Blood of and Draenei, for the eras that those races got released, for those expansions, those were unique game models. And I feel like the allied races, while are unique in their own way, don't come close enough to a brand new playable race. But there's always a possibility of Blizzard adding in a new playable class. We currently do have not too many classes utilizing male gear. There's a lot of leather wearers, clothies, and plate users, but for the male class variety, there's only two, the shaman and the hunter. This opens up a perfect gap for Blizzard to create a class that may utilize male gear. Someone like a tinkerer or some other type of class that fits the World of Warcraft universe. Let me know in the comments which one would you prefer, a brand new playable race or a brand new playable class. Going forward, I do hope that the next future expansion is a little bit less system heavy. I did however enjoy some of the unique abilities added with the expansion of Shadowlands that was tied to its systems. The Kyrian Arcane Mage, the Convoke Fae Druid, the Wild Spirits Hunter, the Paladin Ashen, the Death Knight and Necrolord Abomination Lemon PvP. There are so many cool playstyles that came from this expansion and hopefully they'll be in some ways in incorporated for the next class updates. I'm just personally hoping we don't get too many more systems with abilities that we get to play with temporarily. Instead, I would rather love for Blizzard to expand our class's toolkits. I'm really excited to see how our class design will evolve going forward over the next few WoW expansions. I certainly hope that Blizzard continues the tier set system being re-added for the last patch of Shadowlands. I certainly hope that in the future expansion, we get more Mage Tower experiences, like with the one they re-added back for the Legion time walking. Specifically, some form of solo or group content that can be done with other players, hopefully something challenging that rewards mostly unique cosmetics and none of that player power progression. 
Hopefully after Shadowlands, Blizzard learned something about old friendliness for the next expansion. I would love to see some of the old friendly benefits established with this expansion carry over into the next, which is something we haven't really seen for the last few iterations of the game. And of course, there's the end game content. I think generally Blizzard does the end game dungeons rating and PvP pretty well, though there are some lessons that can be learned from the expansion of Shadowlands. The PvP gearing and the lack of old friendly tools has been a bit of a sore spot for a good portion of the expansion, and hopefully in the future Blizzard will make it a little bit easier for players to gear up to jump into PvP if PvP gear is here to stay. For the Mythic Plus content, hopefully they'll continue evolving on the affix system. I enjoy some of the ways they change the affixes like bursting, making it dispellable, letting a priest with mass dispel become even more valuable for those groups. And for the raids, hopefully they'll continue the tier set system as well as the unique appearances, which should give players a lot of collectability for their characters. Also, I enjoy some of the different fights they've done over the last few raids, and I think the scope of things could grow even bigger for the next WoW expansion. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think the next expansion themes could be? Do you think it is possible that we'll be getting a new class or a new race in the next update? What are some of the different class changes, features, or systems would you be excited to see in the next brand new update? If you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single video and live stream, we have a link to our community Discord. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video update. And if you watch these videos regularly, consider joining the Discord to join our community. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.